What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers. So welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified of these readings. This is a regional collective reading for Sana Leo. This is to resonate with Leo and any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or so many of your chart. So forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,240 or something like that. If you'd like to donate, it's Five Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. You can choose to donate. Um, just to let everybody know, I get money on the back end for Google AdSense. Um, these are free videos. So, I get money on the back end from Google AdSense and from the donations and the personal readings when they're open. But personal readings are currently closed right now. Um, as much as you guys hate it, I'm going to start winning the videos down. And that's just the truth. Uh, I really suggest a lot of you guys, uh, it'd be a good idea to check out that video about the terror addiction. And I'm just being for real. Now, these are psychic, intuitive, uh, prophetic messages. So these are different. Uh, so I get them, I get them, and I feel guided to put them out. But, tarot addiction is very real. And this is not what this is. I just use tarot cards. Okay? So, um, I just, just throwing that out there. Okay? If anybody feels they need to view that video. Of course, everybody has free will, and you can do what you want. Okay? Moth. Unicorn. I will not be on here tonight because um, one of my lovely subscribers sent me a ticket to a concert in Nashville. So I will be up there tonight. Hold on a second. Now, messages here the collective. Envy. You've got moth, unicorn, snail, envy. A very significant motor vehicle accident is about to come very significant in Leo's life soon. Very significant. A very significant motor vehicle accident is about to come very significant in Leo's life soon. So it could be you that's about to get in a significant motor vehicle accident, Leo, or somebody you're connected to, or another Leo. How that resonates and applies. Energies can be reversed. So some kind of significant motor vehicle accident. Um, a very, very, very bad one. Very bad one. A very, very, very bad one. I heard a very bad one. So you plug it in how it resonates. So good Lord. Um, my, my condolences to whoever that's for. Uh, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. An older Aquarius feminine, 
One is about to get in such a severe motor vehicle accident, they will permanently wind up in a wheelchair. One is currently in a wheelchair, and she, her health is terrible. Through many series of chain events, she will probably probably be on her de deathbed soon. Both of these people have stole from you in huge ways. Oh my God, this is terrible. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So Aquarius Femme energy, very strong. One of these Aquarius Feminines, I heard is going to get in a terrible motor vehicle accident soon. So terrible that um, it will probably end, end them up in a um, wheelchair soon. And one Aquarius Femme, is already in a wheelchair, and I heard their um, health is going to uh, start severely declining so bad um, they might be on their deathbed soon. So um, this is terrible, but I heard both of them have stole from you. They're older Aquarius Femme energies, um, so I feel they're 35 or 36 or above. They could have Aquarius in their Seven Rising, Venus, or Feminine Hammer Jupiter charts. If that resonates and applies for you, Leo, um, that's not you. These are these older Aquarius Feminine energies, whoever they are and how they apply. Um, and they have talked so, so, so bad about you. So bad. And it wasn't true. And they have talked so, so, so bad about you. And it wasn't true is what I heard. So one of them's currently in a wheelchair. One is going to, it sounds like through many series of chain events, going to get in such a severe motor vehicle accident that um, they will end up in a wheelchair. But they, it sounds like negative, heavy negative karma coming for them in the universe upcoming because um, they, it sounds like they have verbally slandered you, defamation of character you. Um, it sounds like very publicly. Um, and now it's negative karma about to boomerang back on them. Um, and, and one of these people has protect, been protecting your doppelganger. But through many series of chain of events, they're about to report them because they're about to be forced to do so. And one of these people has been heavily protecting your doppelganger, but through many series of chain events, uh, they're about to report them because uh, they're about to be forced to do so. Uh, older Aquarius feminine energies, whoever these people are and how they apply. I don't associate with anybody out in 3D, uh, it, except for you guys. Um, so, uh, of course, y'all are out, aren't out in 3D, so I don't. Whoever this older Aquarius feminines are and how they apply, but they're about to get some very negative, heavy karma. I'm telling you that right now. I'm pulling them in very strong. This is terrible. One does not believe in God, but they are about to. Oh, I heard one does not believe in God, but they're about to. So one of these Aquarius, older Aquarius feminines does not believe in God. So only this older Aquarius feminine knows who she is that doesn't believe in God. Um, but I heard she's about to. Well, that's not smart not to believe in God. And that's just the freaking truth. But, of course, this is not about religion on here. I don't judge anybody. But I heard they're about to believe in God. Number 20 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 20, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 20, water sign feminine doppelganger. Water sign uh, femme doppelganger. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, water sign, fem, doppelganger. So your doppelganger, which anybody doesn't know, doppelganger is somebody that either tries to look externally like somebody or they naturally externally look like somebody. Um, your doppelganger is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio fem, if that resonates for you, Leo. Hold on one second. So Aquarius fem, uh, energy strong in here. Aquarius Fem Energy Strong. Okay, so you have um, Moth, Unicorn, Flute, Disappointment in a Friend or Lover, Ear, Good News, Shield, You Need to Defend Yourself, Snail, Envy. Also, a water sign is going to try to come back into your life. They're going to try under the pretense of saying that they know you better than anybody. You're going to transmute the energy on this person and call the police on them. And it's going to create horrible negative series of chain events for them. They have had run-ins with the law before. Smart move. Okay. So whoever that's for, um, 
some kind of water sign energy. I feel they could be masculine or feminine energy. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, many hundred Jupiter charts. But whoever this person is, they're going to try to reconcile with you. They're going to try to reconcile with you. But I heard basically you're going to transmute the energy on them. Whoever this person is, whether they're masculine or feminine, they've had run-ins, are run-ins with the law before. So I think the police has been called on them several times, or they've been in jail several times, or what have you, what have you. Um, they're going to try to reconcile with you using under the false pretense of saying, oh, I know you better than anybody. Um, but I heard basically you're not going to feed into that BS. You're not going to feed into it. You're going to transmute the energy back on, on them and call the police. And it's going to create many negative series of chain events for them because they've had so many run-ins with the law previously is what it sounds like here. Heavy water sign energy in here. You have a water sign doppelganger and you have another water sign that's about to try to come back into your life. Um, good job there, Leo, whoever that's for. They haven't tried to re-enter uh, re re or reconcile with you yet, uh, but it sounds like it's upcoming. How that resonates? Moth. Someone from the state is getting a huge wake-up call about severe fraud. Unemployment fraud. And state health healthcare fraud. Doppelganger frauding you. And others other benefits. This person is about to be in huge trouble. Know this. Okay, so fraud energy. If this resonates for you, Leo. One of you guys has got somebody out there uh, frauding your state benefits. And I'm just being real. Somebody in the state is um, either already realized this or they're about to. Whoever this person is. So in this aspect, the moth energy is your um, leachy fraud person. Um whoever this person is. It could be that doppelganger or somebody else, but um, I heard they've basically been stealing from you. Um, some kind of state benefits or some, it could be federal benefits. Um, it could be food stamps or welfare or um, HUD housing or, um, or what have you, what have you. Um, but um, I don't know how they got your personal information to steal from you. That's the thing. I don't know how they got your personal information to steal from you unless a toxic family member gave it to them or something or they or they came over and got it. Um, whoever a lot of you guys are, I don't feel you allow people around you, though, like that. So I don't know how they got your information. But somebody in the state agency is getting a huge wake-up call or they're about to. They're about to create many, 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 many negative series of shame events for them. Many. They will be locked away for a long time. They're about to create basically a crap ton of series of shame events for them. Negative series of shame events for them. I heard they're going to be locked away for a long time. And one of these people obtained money in a court of law situation within the last two years pretending they were you. This is about to create negative series of chain events and the judge is about to be in serious trouble that allowed this. Earth sign energy. Oh my God. Okay. And um, so a lot of theft. So one of these people I heard went to the court of law and pretended they were you. Um, it sounds like within the last couple of years just to strictly get money. Uh, for some shape, form, or fashion, uh, for reason, for greed reasons. Um, it was the Earth sign judge, or, but um, but somebody's getting a huge wake-up call about this, and I heard through many series of chain of events, it's about to be discovered, and basically, the judge is about to be in trouble. So, the Taurus Capricorn Virgo judge um, is about to be in trouble. So, leeching energy, leeching energy because of money and greed. Unicorn.
A person in many hats. You're very versatile and very flexible, and many people are getting huge wake-up calls about this. Okay, I heard you're very, uh, a person in many hats, and you're very versatile and very flexible, and many people are getting huge wake-up calls about this. So you're coming in as a unicorn energy. Um, so um, you're like a unicorn, baby. Oh, with your wonderful little magical horn. Uh, for some, I feel you could believe in magic, possibly. Um, um, or not, I don't know, but you're a very magical creature, you are, whether you believe in magic or not, um, and many people, and you're very versatile, so you're a person in many hats, so you can wear many roles, do many things, take on many hats and roles and activities, and I think you like to do a lot of things, or uh, if you have to do them, you do them, or if you want to do them, you do them, like a person of many hats kind of energy um unicorn energy um and as some i feel you're very good at shape-shifting into situations um like a unicorn does um that's exactly what i feel do you plug it in how it resonates very magical energy by the way you can be dealing with the earth sign or a um fire sign i'm sorry Earth sign or air sign. If you are, they have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, of course, Capricorn, Virgo. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, and Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Blue, disappointment in a friend or lover. For some, my co worker is about to betray you in a huge way. Business partner, terror reader, huge theft. Oh, okay. So for one of you guys, you're a reader, um, and that could be the unicorn energy too. For some, you're a reader, and I heard um, your business partner is about to betray you in a huge way theft. So they're about to steal from you. Uh, if this resonates for you, you're a reader, and you have a business partner. So you work with somebody. Like I'm a sole proprietorship. I do I one person, one person in my business, period. And I have been since I started this. Uh, whoever you are, I think you're, you have to be LLC. I have to be. Um, and you're a Leo reader. Um, you can be masculine or feminine Leo reader, but one, you could have one business partner or two or two plus, but however that resonates, they're about to steal from you. So you're going to be disappointed in the friend in this aspect, which is your business partner. For some, you could have slept with them and made them a lover. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. And a very popular online social media Leo reader that got involved in the Black Magic Coven in the past. They're about to be under heavy investigation. They have foster children. They are about to be mortified and pissed and betray other people in huge ways. Okay, I heard in a Leo tarot card reader, heavy Leo reader energy in here. You're an online popular social media platform and you got involved with the Black Magic Coven of the past. Um, I heard you are about to be under heavy investigation and whoever you are, you have foster child or children. So I think you have foster child or children under in your care. Um, I heard you're going to be pissed and you're going to betray the other people. So um, disappointed in front of me energy. Somehow you're about to be under investigation for this. I think somebody's about to betray you um, and speak on the Black Magic Coven and name your name is exactly what I think. Leo Tarot Card Reader that has foster child or foster children, whoever you are. Um, this is going to create many, many, many negative series of chain events and exposure in a, a very toxic community is about to be very key here. This is about to create many, many, many negative series of chain events and, and exposure of a toxic community is about to become very key here. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call. So you plug it in, how it resonates.
And a Leo feminine is about to catch a, um, a mother, your mother, stealing money out of your purse. You're about to be very disappointed. Ooh, and one of you guys, you're a Leo Femme, and I heard you're about to catch your mother stealing money out of your purse. You're about to be very disappointed. So you plug it in how it resonates. Ear, good news. An Aquarius masculine is about to be very significant in your life. It's about to bring very positive things to your life. However, you really need to keep your boundaries with this person. He knew all along in the past. All along. Know this. Do not date this person. Do not. It would not be smart. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So, Aquarius, masculine, energy, strong. If this resonates for you, Leo. Um, I heard he is about to become a positive, integral part of your life soon. But I heard it, um, spiritual download in that. Do not date this person. Do not date them um, because they knew about the past all along. It sounds like they're going to try to make out like they didn't know about the past. But the spiritual download in this is they did. So, whatever the past is for you and however that applies, they did know about it. They're going to try to come off like they didn't, but they did. So um, just to let you know if that message applies for you. It's something about the past or whatever it was. I think it was very negative, um, and I think it puts you in harm's way. Or if you have child or children, I think it puts you and your children in harm's way. And I think it try, uh, either declined your health or tried to decline your health or decline your um, way of life or, or block your money or something. Um Whoever this person is, it is an Aquarius masculine. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, haven, or Jupiter charts. But they're going to bring you good news. For some, it's an FBI agent. For some, it's a lawyer. For some, it's an investigator. For some, it's an FBI agent. For some, it's a lawyer. For some, it's an investigator. For some, it's a doctor. For some, it's a doctor. For some, it's an FBI agent. For some, it's a lawyer. For some, it's an investigator. For some, it's a doctor. So you have to plug yourself in where it resonates there. But they're going to try to kind of re-enter back into your life with good news and good positive things toward you. Whatever this is, and it could be information. It could be um, what have you, what have you. It's something good for you, whatever it is. But I heard do not date this person because they knew about the past. They're going to try to come off like they didn't know, but they did. You have children. You have children is what I heard. You have children. So whoever you are, you have children if that message applies for you. Whether the FBI agent is um, coming into your life, the lawyer, the doctor, or um, the investigator. For some, it could be two, one, two, or two plus, however that resonates. But it's going to be good news for you. Very, very, very good news for you. They want the money. Okay, I heard it's going to be very, very, very good news for you. They want the money. That's what I heard. So um, they're going to try to, they're going to come off, of course, in a good, positive light to you. And they're going to want you to see, um, see them in a very good, positive light. But deep down, they want the money. I think some of these people didn't think you were going to get this money or they didn't want you to have this money, how this resonates. It is Aquarius masculine energy strong. I heard do not date them. So, of course, you can have free will and date them, but I sure wouldn't. Um, and that's just the truth. So, you can take the advice or leave it. Okay. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Someone is going to try to be very, very, very malicious to a Leo. Some going to try to call Child Protective Services on them.
but it's going to end up backfiring in a huge, huge, huge way, huge way. Some going to lie on them, but that's going to backfire too. The truth is coming out whether these people want it to or not. Okay, so for one of you guys, it sounds like somebody's going to try to um, be very malicious to you. Um, whoever you are, you're a high vibrational Leo. If this resonates for you, you're not low, low vibrational. High vibrational Leos treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. Low vibrational do not. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. In this situation, you're high vibrational. You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. One of you guys, you're going to get uh, CPS called on you soon. So Child Protective Services called on you soon. Hasn't happened yet. But you're, it's about to need to defend yourself, um, talk to the social worker. Um, I mean, I don't think this is like defensive behavior. Just, you know, stating the facts and blase, blase, blase. And just um, hopefully in a good, tactful manner to the social worker. Of course, you can, you don't have to allow them in your house if you don't want them to. Um, but if you have nothing to hide, why would you not allow them in your home? And that's just the truth. I've always allowed social workers in my home. I've had child protective services called on me many, many, many times, many times. And I've always allowed them in my home because I have nothing to hide. So, yeah, you can uh, choose to allow them not to come in your home. That's your right. But it wouldn't be smart because it would look like you're hiding something. So, just a little FYI, if anybody needs to hear that from somebody that's had child protective services called on them many times. Okay? You have nothing to hide. I would allow them in. Of course, you make your own decision. You are the own discerner of your own life there, Leo, okay? If you have nothing to hide, let them in. And that's just the truth. I've had guardian ad litem in my home. I've had several times. I've had um, child protective services in my home several times. Every single call, I've always allowed them in. I've had the police in my home before. Um, and, and that was terrible. And they wouldn't even allow me in my home back in my home for like four hours. And I did nothing to deserve that. But that's the truth. That's the truth. So it is what it is, is what I'm saying. But my point is, is one of you guys is about to get child protective services start to call on you out of maliciousness and spite. But I heard basically it's going to backfire if you handle it correctly, is what I'm presuming. If you handle it correctly. Um, now, obviously, if you have something to hide, you have something to hide. But if you have nothing to hide, I'd let them in. Of course, you are the leader of your own discernment and judgment there, okay? You can choose to let them in or not. But you're going to, um, this is talking to Child Protective Services to, um, and really um, airing it out. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to hide. One, you will not even be in town. One, you will not even be in town, I heard. So, one, you're not even going to be in town when Child Protective Services gets called on you. Wow. Somebody's really souping to the lowest. And I heard um, somebody's about to def uh, defame your character in public, basically. But I heard it's about to backfire on them um, because the truth's out whether people want it to, uh, to be out or not. So, whatever the truth is, I think somebody's trying to say something obviously they're trying to say something that's not true whatever it is and how that resonates but um for one with the cps call i heard you're not even gonna be in town so i think you're gonna get a phone call from child protective services because trust me i've been through that many times they'll call they'll let you know then they come well and that's some of them some of them i've had just showing up at my house which i thought standard protocol and procedure was they have to call I've had child protective services just show up at my house before. Just show up, period, like with no warning. So I don't know. However that is in your area, and whatever the policies and procedures are that child protective services have to follow. Um, how that resonates, okay?
And one Leo is going to have a significant court hearing in July. Just tell the truth. Okay, I heard one significant um, Leo is going to have a significant court trial in July. I heard just tell the truth. One revenge porn is going to be sprung on you. However, this revenge porn was years ago and it's actually going to end up backfiring on the person that tried this. Know this. Okay, I heard for one of you guys, revenge porn is going to come up in this um, court hearing. Um, but I heard basically it's going to end up backfiring on the person, the other party, it sounds like, that sprung this revenge porn on you. It sounds like in the court of law because it was from years ago. Know this. So um, it sounds like the court hearings now, but some reason revenge porn is part of this. But the revenge porn was made years ago. Um, years ago. So it's not. I mean, it's not recent. So whatever, why you're getting drug in court of law, somehow revenge porn is part of this. For some, it could be uh, child custody battles. Maybe they're trying to prove that you're an unfit mother. But the, Or it could be anything else. Um, I'm trying to think of why revenge porn would be used. But the thing is, is it was years ago. And, and it's going to seriously backfire because you're going to question how they got this. And many negative series of time events are going to occur. And it's going to seriously backfire because you're going to question how they got this, how they got the revenge porn. And uh, many negative series of time events are going to occur. And a lawsuit. Know this. And a lawsuit. And you will win this. And a lawsuit and you will win this. Oh, okay. So somebody uh, has some porn. Um, it sounds like you were in it. But it doesn't sound like you consented to it. Because I heard revenge porn. So you did not consider authorize, authorize even to be in this porn video or videos. But somebody's going to try to spring it on you in a court of law, which is very not smart. And that's just the truth. Um, because you didn't even, you, I'm sure you didn't consider authorized to be in the video or videos. And you didn't even receive money from it. Whoever you are, you are, in, you're an adult. For some, I think they're trying to make you out to be an unfit mom. And I'm just being for real. Um, for some, it could be any other way. But however that resonates, I heard it's going to end up backfiring on them. You're going to end up suing them and you will win. So I think over the revenge form. Um, so defending in the court of law, I heard just tell the truth. Somehow a revenge porn sex tape is very significant for at least one of you guys. You plug it in how it resonates. And CPS as well. Envy. One Leo is going to have a very, 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 very successful court win soon. Very successful. It's going to make many people jealous. Many people. And pissed. One Leo is going to have um, a very, very, very successful court win soon. Um, I heard it's going to make uh, many, many, many people jealous. And one Leo that works in the legal sector, very, very, very high position of high authority, you are seeing right through the BS. And you're going to help make this happen. Leo feminine. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So one of you guys, you're Leo fem, you're very, very, very high position of high authority. You work in legal sector. Now, I don't know what you are, sir or ma'am. Uh, you could be a DA. You could be a... Uh, public defender, uh, private lawyer, uh, public defender, um, uh, uh, judge. I'm not sure how that resonates um, and applies in your life. But you're Leo Femme, and I heard you're seeing right through the BS. I think you might be in on one of these court cases um, upcoming for maybe another Leo or for somebody else, how that resonates. But I heard you're seeing right through the BS. You're seeing right through the BS. And... Um, you're going to help it go in the person or people's favor that needs to go in um, because you're seeing right through the BS in some shape or fashion, or you will. However, that resonates. Um, I think people are jealous of you. Very, very, very high position of authority. Um, Leo and Leo Fem in the legal sector. And basically, um, 
they are, um, I think they're jealous of you. I think they're jealous of you. We have envy. They're jealous of you. I think they want your position or want what you do or want to be you or something. An unexpected cash infusion for one Leo soon. An unexpected cash infusion for one Leo soon. So somebody's going to be jealous that you're about to get an unexpected cash infusion. Hopefully it's legal and not illegal. Just saying, just saying. Whatever this cash infusion is, it's unexpected large cash infusion. Um, and I think people are going to be jealous of it uh, if they know about it. Of course, I'm a huge believer in working in silence and moving in silence. But, of course, you don't have to work in silence or move in silence. How that resonates for you. You have your own free will to do what you choose to do unless you're incarcerated. How that resonates. Snail. For one, your home improvement projects have been going very slow because you didn't want, want to get in debt. However, through many series of chime events, they're about to speed up in a huge way. A huge way. Okay, I heard for one of you guys, um, your home improvement projects have been slow because um, you didn't want to go in debt. But I heard through many series of chime events, they're about to speed up in a positive way. So they, um, whoever you are, you own your home or you have it paid off. How that resonates, I don't feel you're a renter is what I'm saying. I'll feel you're a renter. I feel you own either a condo, a duplex, or a single family like me, or homes up. Maybe you're a house flipper for some. But how that resonates, the home improvements have been going slow, but because you didn't want to go into debt. So you didn't want to have to take out money and go in the hole, basically. But through many series of chain events, they're about to speed up. Um, snail reverse is about to go fast, which is really beautiful, you guys. It really, really is. Let me see if I hear anything else. Someone took... Uh, Leo's happiness away, but through many series of chain of events, their happiness is about to be taken away. Some of these people are going to try to come back. It would not be smart to interact with these people. They're huge, unless you have to. They're huge moochers. Huge. Okay, I heard um, someone has taken uh, Leo's happiness away. But through many series of chain events, it sounds like a group of people. It sounds like either one or two. Well, it sounds like two or two plus or a group. How that resonates for you guys. But I heard basically soon, I think they're going to see you happy or see something positive is going in your life or favor. And basically, their energy is going to shift and they're going to want to come back. They're going to want to come back. But I heard it wouldn't be a smart idea. Um, they're huge moochers, but whoever you guys are, if you resonate in that particular message or messages, I think you're highly intuitive and you know, you know they're moochers and I'm just being real. And a Leo feminine that has recently bought a very, very, very expensive home. Your income is about to be severely cut. It'd be smart to look for a smaller home. 
it was way out of your price range when you bought it anyways. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So Leo Femme that recently bought a very nice expensive home, whoever you are. If you're a Leo Feminine and recently bought a very, sounds like large, like mansion style or mansion s type home. Uh, it's a very large expensive home. So I feel like McMansion energy or mansion energy, how that resonates, but I heard it was way out of your price range when you bought it. Um, so it sounds like you're, it sounds like you knew this. It sounds like you knew this, but you went ahead and did it. Um, but I heard your income's about to be cut. Um, uh, for some, it could have already been cut, but for some, but uh, for sure, 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 who this is for, it's about to be cut upcoming. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. No, however it goes down, I'm not sure. But it's obviously going to cut into your mortgage. It's going to cut into your homeowner's insurance. It's going to cut into um, utilities. It's, I mean, all the important essential features of being a homeowner. And trust me, I've been a homeowner for five years. I know this stuff. Of course, I don't have a big mansion or mansion. I have a little $150,000 home. But whoever this is, it's much way more expensive than a $150,000 home for sure, for sure, for sure. I feel McMansion or Mansion energy. Um, I heard through many series of chain events, it'd be smart to start looking for a smaller home. So you have bought this home, uh, but it sounds like when you bought it, you should you, you intuitively knew you shouldn't have bought it because it was too expensive. But you went ahead and did it. Now your income's about to go down in some shape, form, or fashion. So be smart to kind of get out of it while you can before you get in over your head and go into foreclosure. Is what I'm presuming on this. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay. Um, and th that also the snail could be in that aspect. Um, maybe you're house poor or you can't afford other things because you're paying all this humongous amount of money on mortgage um, because you can't afford anything else. I feel like house poor energy, possibly for some, whoever that's for. A Leo Feminine is about to get into a very, very, very aggressive argument, fight, with a masculine energy, militant masculine energy in your workspace, position of high authority. It's about to cause you to do something you never thought you would do, about to expose this person in a huge way. It's going to give you high honor and a person of your past high honor when you do this. Know this. You know he's very aggressive. And he's about to prove it to you. So you plug it in how it resonates. So Leo Femme in a workspace situation. Um, he's a very aggressive, militant style, conflictual energy type of um, position of high authority. I think he's your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. Um, healthcare profession. Healthcare profession. Hospital. Hospital. He's healthcare profession and hospital. So you, you guys work in the healthcare profession in a hospital. Um, but he's very militant style, very aggressive, and very conflictual, apparently. It, it sounds like you're about to, I heard you're about to get in a fight with him. I don't know if it's a physical altercation, a verbal altercation, or both. But however that resonates, I heard you, um, you're going to basically stand up to him and you're about to do something you never thought you would do. And that could be you need to defend yourself as well. Um, I think you're going to report him to a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. And if they don't do anything about it, if you work in a corporate entity, hopefully you call the corporate compliance hotline and make an official report on his, on his ass and be a whistleblower. And I'm just being for real. Of course, you can choose to listen or not. That's my advice, not spiritual download advice. And I'm just being for real. Um, I heard it's going to end up giving you high honor and a person of your past high honor when you do this. So I think you're going to report his ass is what I think. I think you're going to defend yourself against this person. It's a masculine, very, very high position of authority. I think he's your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO in some shape, form, or fashion. You guys both work in a hospital. Um, and you both work in healthcare. Obviously, you work in a hospital. Um, and you could be any area in the hospital. Um, housekeeping staff, nursing staff, respiratory therapists, occupational therapy, ex physical therapy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However that resonates, okay? Um, but he's about to become out of line and you're basically about to stand up for yourself. Um, I feel for some, maybe you, um, 
more afraid of this person, um, but you're about to not become afraid of them. And that could be the disappointment in a friend there. Um, maybe you considered him a friend or you wanted to try to make him a friend. I don't make friends in um, workplace situations. I just don't because I know how shifty people are. And um, there are things, um, there's, I go in there, do my job, get out. There's discrimination laws. There's um, too many crazy things that can happen in a workplace situation. I don't want friends in my workplace, and that's just the truth. I don't. I don't. And that that's just me, though. Um, I'm not saying you can't get along positively with people in your workplace. Absolutely. I encourage positivity in workplaces all day long. But becoming friends with them, no, that's never a good idea. And that's just the truth. Now, Capricorn is about to try to take a Leo down in a huge way. But through many series of chain of events, some in a workplace situation, some not. However, through many series of chain of events, the energy is about to be seriously transmuted upon themselves because of the truth. Okay, I heard a Capricorn is about to seriously try to take a Leo down. Some of you guys, it's in a workplace. Um, so I think you work with this Capricorn or their manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO to you. Um, if you resonate in the workplace situation for one of you guys, not in the workplace situation, but I heard basically it's not going to work, um, because of the truth. So I think they're going to try to lie on you or lie on the situation, but I think others are about to get a huge wake up call with the situation, or you're just about to stand up and defend yourself and speak the truth. Um, hopefully they get some evidence in there, like video camera evidence, if it's a workplace situation or um, or something of that nature um, to prove what you say is the truth. One, you're in a workplace, current workplace situation. One, you're not. It's something of the past. Um, I think it's been slow to come with the snail energy, but um, it's, about to, it's about to speed up is what I'm feeling. Okay. I'm going to pull one kipper. A significant death is about to become very, very significant in a Leo's life. Very significant. A significant death is about to become very significant in Leo's life. Um, how that resonates. One is a family member. One is in your workplace situation. One is a person in your past. Okay, so one is in your workplace, one is a family member, and one is a person of your past. So you plug it in, how it resonates. You got honor, upright, journey, upright, number 25 or 10. It could be very significant numbers in one's life, 25 or 10. 10s are completions of cycles, um, cycles completing. And you got adjudication under it. Some of you guys are about to go uh, have a court situation in July. So cycles completing with the poor situation. Looks like you're going to get high honor. I heard in here most of you guys were. Um, now, of course, you have to plug yourself into the high vibrational or low vibrational end. If you're in the, if you're in the shooting up drugs or uh, snorting up drugs or prostituting yourself out or um, or doing something highly criminal and you walk waltz up into the court of law, that's not going to be a good look for you there, Leo. Just to let you know. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. I'm not accusing anybody of that. I'm just saying um, it's definitely not a good look for sure. Trust me, I've been in many poor situations, many with my ex-husband in the past. So much so he accused me of child abuse the last time. And that's just the truth. Um, so I know how this crap goes. It's just, it's not a good idea. And it's just not morally, ethically and morally right. It's just not. I don't care how much you need money. It's never a good idea to sell your body for money, in my opinion. Now, I know some people will fight tooth and nail about that, but I don't believe you should pay for sex, and that's just the truth. Someone who once accused you of child abuse through many series of chain of events, it's about to transmute onto them.
child abuse charges coming for them. They're not going to see it coming. Okay, I heard um, someone that once uh, accused you of child abuse. Um, now, whoever this is for, I feel you're a high vibrational Leo. Uh, you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. Um, somebody that once accused you of child abuse, I heard basically the energy is going to transmute on them and they are about to be accused of child abuse. Um, now, whether they get charged with it or not, I'm not sure. Um, there will be evidence and a lot of it. There will be evidence and a lot of it. So there will be evidence and a lot of it of this child abuse. Um, and uh, it's about to transmute on, on them. They once accused you of child abuse, but it's about to negatively transmute upon them. High honor, upright. You're about to get high honor. They're about to get high honor reversed. But they sound like huge liars and frauds and manipulators. So in all fairness, they deserve it. And that's just the truth. I feel for some, you're going to start traveling, maybe, after these court situations. Um, maybe for some, you're going to physically move after the court situations. Um, just freshen up the energetic space, get away from toxicity, um, and be able to move on with your life is what I'm feeling for some. Because I feel for some, you are stuck in very, very, very toxic communities. But I feel people have been sticking you in these toxic communities for strategic reasons. Um, but soon you're about to complete the court situation or court situations and you're, you got to wait, you got to already got a huge wake up call to the toxic community or you're about to, and you're about to freaking move. You're about to skedaddle is what I feel for some. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day. I hope this helped and I'm safe.